Hi everyone, welcome to my seventh cocktail video. I call this cocktail Cognac and Cream and the inspiration behind this cocktail is the Wuss Bubble Bar. I haven't used this bubble bar before. Um, it's got quite a masculine scent to it. It's got coffee and cognac in it and um, there's a very good video on YouTube which describes this as the essence of man and it really does have quite a masculine scent to it. Um, when I first smelt it, it was like sniffing the inside of a leather wallet. Um, it really is quite a lovely but masculine scent. So the other products that I've chosen, I've tried to f choose products that would complement the worst but also add a touch of femininity to it as well um, because I don't really want to smell like a man. Um, so hopefully the products that I'm using with it will counteract the masculinity but also complement the, uh, the scents that are in the worst as well. So what I'm going to be using are the Butterball Ballistic, which I'm sure you all know very well, and the Vanilla in the Mist soap. I haven't used this soap yet. I've had it quite a while, but just not really felt that it would go with any of the cocktails that I've done before. But I thought this would go quite well with the Wuss. It's got quite a strong smell of coffee to me, kind of coffee and toffee. I don't really get much vanilla from it, to be honest. Um, but I thought that would, that would work well with the Wuss. And I'm also going to be using the Aquamira Bliss Underwater, the bath mount, and the Aquamira Bliss Body Butter. And just a little tip with this, I do find that you need to use these pretty quickly. Um, once it's been um, once it's been in the bath and it's got wet, if you leave it for too long it does tend to go a bit mouldy underneath. So I've had two uses out of this, I'll probably get another two from it and I'll use it up as fast as I can. But I thought this would go well with this cocktail because it's got quite a nutty, biscuity type scent but it's also a very feminine scent. So I thought it would complement the wuss but also kind of counteract the masculinity that comes from the wuss. And for my hair, I'm going to be using Cynthia Sylvia Stout Shampoo. This contains stout and lemons and cognac as well, which is also in the worst. Um, and I bought this because I got hold of the worst. I wanted something that was going to go well with it. So I'll be using that on my hair and then I'll be using the American Cream Conditioner. And hopefully together, these products will give me a lovely feminine scent. I don't want to smell like a man really, um, but I am dying to use the worst and, and see what it's like. Um, so for this cocktail, I'm not going to put the ballistic in because you all know what the butterball is like and I want to see what the wuss is like just on its own. I want to see how many bubbles you get from it. So I'm going to chuck this in. This is a quarter of the wuss. It crumbles into quite a fine powder. So let's see how that goes. Right, there's lots of bubbles there. Um, from a quarter of a bubble bar, that's quite a lot of bubbles, I think. Um, I do wonder if sometimes, if you put the ballistic in first, maybe the oils from the ballistic might um, limit the amount of bubbles that you can pr produce from the bubble bar. So um, sometimes I like to put the bubble bar in first and then the ballistic in when I've washed and everything. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to try this cocktail now. I hope you all enjoyed my video and try my cocktail one day maybe. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.